Well, Thomas Klein and Brockhoff, the loudest, perhaps the most public war of words in recent days has been between the U.S. and Europe centered in Germany over the idea of a stimulus package, something President Obama wants very much. What's the resistance from? How do, how do you explain the resistance from Germany? Angela Merkel, the Chancellor, is going to London to be the Iron Lady of Continental Europe. She'll be a fiscal conservative. She'll oppose uh, any new fiscal stimulus. Uh, a new, uh, new stimulus will cause inflation, as they believe the, the U.S. stimulus will cause inflation. And that uh, triggers the, uh, the memory, especially of Germans. It's not depression and deflation. Uh, uh, that the collective memory recalls. It's inflation that led to Adolf Hitler. So if you have uh, uh, the, the, the old lady on the street and they being asked about uh, Obama's stimulus package, she'll probably ask, isn't he printing money? So uh, that's what uh, Chancellor yes. Merkel alludes to. All right. Let me uh, Pei, let's talk about what happens with China here. In, in, in recent weeks, Chinese leaders have raise questions about U.S. fiscal policy as well and its impact on the dollar. What are they, what are they bringing here? What concerns? Well, uh, by comparison, China looks pretty good. Uh, China has put into place a very large stimulus package. China's financial system itself uh, is relatively healthy. At the, conf uh, at the summit, China wants to look not presidential, but uh, look like a true world leader. And he wants like to use belong at this belong table. At this table. He wants mm -hmm. to show that it's responsive, mm -hmm. it's responsible, and it has a concrete plan. But for, of, of course, longer term, China is deeply, deeply concerned about the U.S. fiscal situation because China is the biggest creditor of the United States, holding something like 1.2, 1.3 trillion U.S. dollars in debt. So if the U.S. keeps printing money, uh, to solve this crisis, then over the long run, China will find its in own interests hurt. So at this summit, China will raise that issue as well. So Martin Wolf, uh, we heard in our earlier piece, Gordon Brown say it, that this meeting must provide, quote, the oxygen of confidence. So what is possible to achieve? What are you looking for? Well, it's going to be very difficult to provide very much confidence given the intense disagreements that have already been indicated, particularly between the United States and Germany. By the way, these have a very long precedent. There's a, been a consistent pattern of these disputes, but this time it is far more serious than ever before because we are, without any doubt, in a huge global recession. Uh, in the advanced countries, the OECD has just announced the economies will shrink by about 4.2% this year. We've seen nothing like this since the 1930s. 